Hi, and welcome to this Atmel presentation. My name is Per Andreas Gilbrunsen, and I'm an applications engineer with Atmel Norway. Today we will talk about uh, using stimulus in your simulations. This can be a very useful tool which allows you to give input to your own simulations. This feature is new in Atmel Studio 6.1. In order to demonstrate this, I have uh, written a short program containing three lines. In the first line, I save uh, the input value to port A in a temporary variable. Second line, I increment this variable. And in the third line, I put it out on port B. I have prepared a stim file, which simply creates a loop, which delays for 23 cycles and puts port B back into port A, effectively creating a loop. In my Atmel Studio project, if you open the project properties under the tab tool, you can select a stimuli file. You can see here that I have selected the file I showed you. I've set up a debug session of my short program with a break at the start of the loop and a watch of the temporary variable. If I run the loop a few times, you can see that the variable increases to 1, and so does the port B output. If I now execute the stim file from the debug menu, and select output from the file stimuli provider, you can see that if I run the loop once more, the stim file starts to give input. For now, it is just the delay at the start of my stim file. Running it once more, you can see that port B is now looped back into port A. If we now continue to run the demo, you can see that the temporary variable and the port B output increases. My stim file is set up to do five repetitions, so the variable will increase until it has reached six and then stop. I will now demonstrate the logging capabilities of the stim files for you. I've already set up a stim file called logportA.stim, which sets up logging of port A and writes it to a file called test.log. I've also set up a repeat of five times with the delay of 23. This is so that the log file will continue running while my program executes. I've done it this way because I wish to use the stimulate directive to import this log file into my original stim file. So I write $stimulate and the stim file's name. I move back to studio and I restart my uh, debug session. Running through a few times, you see that again that the temporary variable increases to 1, but not anymore. I will execute my stim files from the debug menu and I will also choose the stim file provider output. Executing a loop again, you see that uh, the stim files have been opened, both of them. Logging has started and port B has been put back into port A. I will now run through the loop a couple of times just to create the output. When I've run through my program, I open up my log file. And you will see here that uh, it has been logged when port A changes value. In between, you will also see the delay between the changes. This log file is in the same format as the stim files and can be used as input as well. If you open Atmel Help and search for simulator stimuli, you will find a page describing use of the stimulation and the format of the stimuli file. We see here that you have uh, delays, assignments and directives. Uh, among the directives you see the stimulate which we used, quit, break, repeat which we also used, and repeat, log, unlog, start log and stop log. Thank you for watching and good luck with stimulating your simulations.